the, the principal has a duty of care to create a, a wealth and lifestyle environment for their employees. Well, the same thing points about looking after not just their career but also their wealth strategy. They, some people, when they enter the industry, because there's very few barriers to, be, to entering the industry, so the employers should be taking responsibility for providing as many career choices, as many as wealth choices, as many self-education choices as possibly can. What developments could the real estate agency owner introduce to some of their employees? What, there are opportunities out there for them to buy um, off-the-plan projects, um, some land developments, some subdivision blocks. There are so many opportunities out there, not just for career development, but as you're saying, if they don't look after that person, they are going to leave anyway. That's the golden handcuffs. Teach, show your staff how to create wealth. They can't afford, it doesn't matter what you pay them, doesn't matter what the commission rate is, they won't leave if you're creating wealth for them. I had a, uh, a principal that I knew, and he bought a big strip of land on the beach, he did his own subdivision, he sold all the beachfront properties to his own staff, they then were able to subdivide, he then re, re, uh, got a new consent, he, they were able to re-subdivide those front properties, sell the back half off for what they paid, and they all end up with a freehold beachfront property each. Mm -hmm. Now, are those people going to leave? Don't think so. You know, that was just one example. I think with that, though, with the career paths, the other thing is you've got to make sure that you're letting the employee know, because a lot of franchise owners have it in the office owners have it in their own mind. Yes, this is what I have planned for this employee. Yeah, they, they never tell the person. A lot of times you talk about the accountability of the salesperson and what they need to do, but the essential accountability runs back to the principal, mm -hmm. uh, male or female, that they need to actually be in touch, communicate, one-on-ones, appraise, assist in the training, develop all those things and obviously those wealth factors and the lock-ins become the, the back end to it yep. because at the front end they're actually going to be producing, they're going to be contributing to the development of the business and I think that in its own right means that they're going to be leading the way for those new recruits because they've got the accountability, they're trained, they're doing the right things which makes it much easier for someone to come in underneath and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and tail them. If the employees were that good, they would be a principal. They're not, that's why they're an employee. So they need that help. And it's not rocket scientists to work out that if you can you know, create that environment for them, one, you've got loyalty, you've got retention, you've got longevity, and, and it's, it's very, very uh, lucrative.